Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Leos. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. <laughs> I'll be using my guardian angels message tarot. And then I'll pull you a card from my living by the moon healing mantras inspired by the magic of the moon oracle. One card. It's just little sayings. Nothing big. So let's see what messages we have for you, Leo. So Leo, this is for you. The two of earth, balance. Gotta watch your step. The six of water, you gotta watch your step where the past is concerned. What's going on, Leo? The three of air, sadness, sorrow, forgiveness. Somebody else was involved. The eight of fire, something came with a fury to you, with a speed. Or you were doing a lot of things at one time in the past. You were like Jack or Jill of all trades, so to speak. Ah, nursery rhymes. The meanings behind nursery rhymes and what they meant, that just came to my mind. Transformation. Whatever came fast, it's... It, Cause chaos and confusion. It changed your life. Something happened. You came to a re realization. So sometimes things have to be broken down in order to be rebuilt stronger, okay? So we got the transformation card. You got to watch your step. You got the sun card. Success. Recognition, enthusiasm, maybe after whatever chaos or whatever is realized, um, whatever transformation you went through, once you go through that change, you will make room for that happiness that you so desire. And the enthusiasm to live will be there. You know what I mean? You're going to be full of life again, right? That's the sun card. But you have to believe that. And the chariot, hmm, that could be coming fast. Victory. Or is it the sadness, the broken heart that's coming fast? There's something you're working on very, very hard. You're very good at whatever it is that you're doing. I mean, extremely good at what you do. Anything you put your hand to or your mind to, you can take care of it and do it. You're very skilled, very focused, and you pay attention to all the details. You got the nine of fire. You're very resilient. You're protecting something, protecting yourself. I don't know. But you're prepared for anything. A moment's no, notice, you know, you can just leave. But you're resilient. No matter how many times you fall down, you, you get back up. You got the nine of fire. You got the king of air here. <laughs> There's some kind of air energy in your environment here. This is a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. That person gives you, this energy gives you some kind of um, strength. I don't know, strength to continue, strength to go on, strength, something this energy does for you. You're in love with this energy. 
this energy is from the past and you are very much in love with that energy. And you made a mistake, didn't you? Mistakes happen in life, you know. Maybe ask, reach out to the person. Especially if you know you were the wrong person, you know. You know, you did wrong. Apologize. Be sincere. Be with your heart. You love this energy. You are attached to this energy for a very long time. You are planning a partnership with this energy. You wanted to move towards this energy, but something happened. You got the Knight of Wands. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, the Knight of Water, the Two of Fire, and the Six of Air. <clears throat> This ending is just temporary. <laughs> it seems like if this ending with this particular energy here um, comes and goes. Um, there's some investment in the past here with this energy. Um, this energy brings you a lot of magic. This energy. I don't know if this energy helped you in some kind of way, like to make you believe in you. I don't know, but I got the Ten of Air, which is an ending. It seems like it was an ending with this energy, but it's a temporary ending. It's not a forever ending because there's some kind of connection here. I got the Seven of Earth here. This is something that was planted way back then. I don't know how long ago. And then we got the Magician here. You got the ability to manifest anything. Maybe start with an apology. Be sincere. Open your heart. Strive to be the best that you are. Strive to be a better version of you. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong. You know, we all make mistakes. Ain't none of us perfect. It don't matter who thinks what and who. You know? Anyway, you have the Ten of Air. You got the Seven of Earth. And you have the Magician. So that's a temporary breakup here, but this is a this is a back and forth thing. And you're very magical. You can manifest anything you set your mind to right now. You got the world card accomplished, but you're still in your head and you're worried. And you're in your head and you're worried because there's another energy around. It's not just that air energy. You got an earth energy around. You got a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn around right now that's driving you. They got you in your head, negative, worried, sleepless. You got the world card, you got the nine of air, and you got the king of earth. That earth energy, Scott. That earth energy, you need to be aware of that energy. Straight up, be aware of that energy. The seven of air. Um, be cautious. There are a lot of consequences attached to that energy. Um, this is probably, it's, I don't know if it's a friend or whatever. I, I don't exactly know, but there's something with this energy here. It might seem all nice and good right now, or at times it does. I got the free air, but you need to be cautious. All right? Be cautious of that enemy. And energy, not enemy. Maybe it's an enemy. I don't know. Uh, you got the seven of air. You got the three of um, water. And you got the four of water. This energy is here to distract you, okay? Um, be aware of them. Just be aware. You got the four of water. You got the six of air. The three of water. And the four of water. I don't like to leave it like that. And you can get some messages here. It's going to make you cheerful. But I don't know. Look out for some messages. You got the page of earth. Be prepared. And it's going to make you happy. 
Just be patient, okay, Leo? Do what you know is the right thing to do. Say you're sorry. Accept your fault in whatever happened. And then let that person, they'll either accept or reject. And then that earth energy there, you need to be aware of them. All right? So, this card says, I bring positive energy into my life. So that's what you need to do, okay, Leo? Bring positive energy into your life. You have the ability. I love you. You take care, and I will chat with you guys soon. Bye.